Hi, right, something a bit different. I'll explain why in a moment. We're coming up to almost a year into COVID. And one of the biggest things I've been missing throughout all of this is ukulele festivals. I have put on my um, 2019 Ukulele Festival of Wales t-shirt um, just as a little bit of a memory boost. Um, but basically I was getting quite fed up with everything to the point I decided I was going to sort out my music room. Not this one, I have to keep this one relatively tidy otherwise I couldn't move around in it. But downstairs um, my room had basically got a little bit of a dumping ground. It was full of instruments and equipment from school, empty ukulele boxes. I'm not even going to tell you how many ukulele boxes I've thrown out of there. Um, and I came across my ukulele bag. All right, this is the bag that I take weekly to ukulele club meetings, but also to festivals and things as well. So um, that sort of sets some, oh, memories going. Basically, um, I really thought, oh, I really am missing ukulele festivals. Um, and then over the weekend also, I'd been looking at some videos to do with lighting and, vid you know, actually making videos um, and noticed that quite a few of the film YouTubers do um, what's in my camera bag. So I thought, right, well, Let's sort of spark some memories here. So today we're going to do what's in my ukulele bag. Now it is pretty much as it was when we, you know, everything kicked off last spring. So I haven't been into this for ages. I have added one thing in here for this video because it's something I use daily. But apart from that, this bag is pretty much as I left it last spring. So I don't know what we're going to find, but it could well be interesting. Right, think of this then a little bit like an unboxing, but an unbagging. Yeah, there's going to be things in here that everybody carries around. Um, we might discover some nice ideas that other people haven't thought of. Um, and I'm just going to admit I'm inherently nosy. Um, don't ever ask me to go into a lady's handbag. All right, completely different. But I am always interested in what um, equipment people carry around and think, oh, that's good. I fancy one of those. Right, so here it is, the bag. Um, okay, let's start with one of the end pockets a minute. Okay, so first of all, let's have a little look and dive in here something nice and interesting and useful the Hal Leonard uh, ukulele cord finder just in case pop things over there out of the way next up ooh okay um a train whistle cuz obviously you need to carry one of those around and then we're looking at Oh, a kazoo, um, a nice wooden kazoo. I do normally carry uh, a metal kazoo in my uke case. So um, we'll have a little look at that right at the end. Um, set of strings, always a must to be carrying wherever you're going. Um, and a egg shaker. Trying not to throw things down a minute. Right, I'm going to dive into the other end pocket a minute um, just to give a bit of variety so uh, XLR cable phono lead very handy for plugging an iPod or a phone or something into an amp um, another audio cable and oh, we'll leave that one for a moment okay I'm gonna have to put all this back in later 
Right. Back to the other end for a moment. Um, okay. I bet not everybody carries a bicycle bell in their ukulele bags. There is a reason for that. We were doing bicycle girl, um, fat bottom girls and bicycle races queen. Very handy. Um, another whistle. <laughs> okay. I do drive you club nuts. I'm not the only one to carry this sort of thing. Um, another egg shaker. You can't have too many egg shakers. Ah, right. Oh, now then, this is actually featured in one of my videos. This is my foot tambourine. All right, pop it on your foot and away you go. Really handy tool. This is the, ooh, hang on, made by, I can never remember this, hang on. Um, I know it's called the octopus. Ah, yes, music nomad. All right, basically, let's get rid of the foot tambourine. It's a multi-tool. So end bit comes out. I've got a Phillips and a straight uh, screwdriver on there, but it's also got lots of different sized wrench holes and things for tuning pegs, that kind of thing. So it's made for musical instruments. All right. Um, digging deep now. Right. <laughs> um, that's to go on a strap, to go around the head of a ukulele. Okay. I, why that's in there, I don't know. Pencil. Very handy. Um, all musicians should have one. And, oh, clip on tuner. Okay. A few more items. Right. Ah, okay. Oh, look at that. See, this is why I decided this was a good idea. Streetwise Christmas party, um, December the 12th, 2019, uh, with the strolling bones and cool hand ukes. That was a cracking night. So that's my ticket for that. I'll pop that straight back in now. An interesting item. I am planning on doing a video on these at some point in the future, but basically it's, what's it called? A wireless guitar system. One end plugs in to your electric uke. Okay, if I come in a bit closer. All right, the light's not great on that, but basically one end plugs in to your electric uke. The other plugs in to your amplifier, okay? It's got a few little inbuilt um, effects as well. And that's it, job done. No wires, it doesn't matter if you're the other end of the stage or whatever. Um, so a really interesting item, um, a wireless, let's call it wireless ukulele system. And at some point, I, I'll do a little demo with these because they don't work perfectly in all instruments. They do work with ukuleles, all right? But it'll be interesting. I might just go around the walls one day and see what they do and don't work with. So there we are, a little uh, USB powered because that's how, you know, there's no battery in there. Um, little USB wireless ukulele system for plugging your electric ukes in. Carrying on. So I'll come back to that end pocket in a minute. Let's dive into the big section. Now, there was a reason why I needed a bag this size length in particular. I'll show you that in a moment. So, I, it's a bit like Christmas presents. You've got to do it in the right order. Otherwise, some of these items don't make sense. Right, let's go with this then. This is the reason why I had to get a bag this size, okay? This is... It's not a music stand because I don't take sheet music with me. We'll come on to that in a minute. But it's basically an iPad stand, all right? And in true Blue Peter fashion, um, if you're British, you'll know what that means. It's basically, it was a children's TV program where everything was prepared beforehand. So in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I made earlier. Okay, so a few years ago, I stopped doing sheet music um, and started using digital format. 
So I take an iPad with me, um, which we'll find in the bag shortly, and this is my iPad stand, all right? Now also in the bag is one of these. Brilliant device, and hopefully you'll see that if I go like this on here. I've put one on here ready, okay? It's a ukulele hanger. Let me pop this down. So I put the ukulele hanger onto my iPad stand. There's my music. There's my ukulele. Haven't finished yet because, where's it gone? A little drink colder, all right? So this is how easy it is. Yeah, we don't want to drop things. Here's my uh, iPad stand. There's my ukulele hanger on it. I didn't think black t-shirt with this, all right? But all I'm gonna do is clamp on my drinks holder for my cans of pop, okay? And suddenly, all in one, holds my music, holds my ukulele, and holds a nice hot or cold beverage. Hang on, we've got a bit stuck. So there we are, there's my iPad stand. So you've seen the iPad stand. Here's the iPad. This is genuinely the only item I put back in the bag for this video. All right, because obviously I use this daily. A uh, few years ago, I swapped from carrying sheet music around to carrying an iPad with all my music on it there was a very good reason. I was in the middle of doing a gig um, in a pub with my band. I was playing bass guitar. Um, and this was the sort of thing I'd have on a really heavy duty music stand. So instantly, weight, size. All right, I'm having to lug that about. And it fell apart, all right? The, the, this bit broke in the middle of the gig and I literally had 100 odd sheets fly on the floor, all right? And it was a horrific experience. I, I got through the gig and I was driving home thinking, that's it. And I spent the next few days scanning all my sheet music in to my, um, into PDFs on the computer, popped them on the iPad, brilliant. And I've been doing it with, for uke music for years, in fact, um, in school, I encourage the students to use digital rather than carrying sheet music around as well, okay? So it's a massive difference to you. It doesn't have to be an iPad. Any tablet would do. I know there are fancy apps for storing all your music and making it all pretty and putting it into order. I just use iBooks on here, all right? But it was genuinely one of the best things I did, swap from sheet music to digital. We're almost done, um, so another lead, guitar lead that time, or ukulele lead for plugging things in. If I am planning on going electric, I'll have a few more cables and leads in here, and obviously I remember to take my amp. Um, one other item which you will find interesting is this. Oh, I've got, oh look, see this is what I'm missing. There's our school ukulele songbook there all right that is one of the paper copies i use sometimes um right this i got this a few years ago um really handy especially if you're leading a ukulele group or you perform um it's basically a wireless headset and microphone okay so i pop this on i can't remember god it's been ages i can't remember how it goes on like so. No. Ha! Shows how long, doesn't it? All right. So that goes like that. Suddenly now, um, I feel like some kind of rocket pilot. What are they called? Astronaut. All right. So I've got a microphone on there. And I know it's an attractive look, isn't it? Um, this bit in here, a bit like the wireless guitar system, plugs into the amp. So this is made by... Uh, Kima Fun, okay. It wasn't that expensive. Oh, take that off. Um, so that's a wireless microphone headset. So again, no wires to worry about when um, you're on stage. 
and that with the other wireless system means I can be completely wireless going through a little amp um, not having to worry about how far away I am from the amp so that's it that is the contents of my ukulele bag I can't believe there were no sweets in there although they'd have probably gone sticky by now so it's probably just as well um, so that's basically what I carry around with me um, to make sure I can perform or play the uke or fix my uke or mend a string um, weekly and especially if I'm on a day out going to the ukulele uh, festival. One other thing you must not forget, really important, your ukuleles, okay? Um, I say that joking. I once, many years ago, once drove from South Wales up to Birmingham for an opera gig. Um, now, I played double bass, so it was never a problem. I put my double bass in the case, in the car, off we go. Um, my very good friend put her violin in the car, off we go. We arrive in Birmingham. She opens the case, and yes, you know what I'm about to say. There was no violin in it, all right? Luckily, I actually went to music college in Birmingham. A couple of phone calls later, we got her a violin for the gig. But always make sure your uke is actually in your case, okay? And whilst we're at it, let's have a quick look in the pocket of my case. Let's pop that down there for a second. Okay, compulsory kazoo. There's my metal kazoo that I was talking about a minute ago. Um, another clip-on tuner. Um, pitch pipes. <laughs> All right, I'm, I can be old school sometimes. The ukes normally have a strap on them or the strap will be in here and a key to the um, ukulele case. So always make sure your ukuleles are in the case because there's nothing worse than opening it and seeing that um the only time you should ever see an empty ukulele case is when you're busking that's my ukulele bag and my ukulele case um i do hope you've enjoyed that i am very nosy and i do like to see what other um, equipment people have got because it can be helpful sometimes same way as i can spend hours looking around people's studios and looking at their bass guitar ah, do you know what we could do that with ukuleles if you fancy having your ukulele collection or even your favorite ukulele featured drop uh, a comment below that could be a good idea anyway so yes i am very nosy I do hope you've enjoyed seeing what's in my ukulele bag. It might give you some ideas. It might think, oh yes, I haven't got one of those. Or you might think, why has she got a sliding whistle in her ukulele bag? Um, let's just hope this year we can get to some ukulele festivals. <laughs> And, you know, we can get back to making music. There we go. You know what to do. If you've got a comment or a question, please feel free to leave it below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.